Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. So, for this video, I wanted to show um, how to port tracks. There's been a lot of questions that have been asking about how do you port tracks from Fusion to Rising. It's, uh, it's really simple. The basic layout of it is you find a track, um, you favorite it, you go and then you find it in your documents folder. I'll pull that up here. You find it in your documents folder. I'll scroll all the way down and I'll find the Trials Fusion one. And you'll open that up. You'll open up Save Games. And on this list here, this folder right here that I'm highlighting. So that is the last track that you favorited. So here, let me take this off the screen for just a second. And if I was to go up and I'm like, oh, I love the uh, Confused Muscle tracks. Like, these are all really insane. And I'm looking at the, the community picks right now. So if I was to say, hey, I would love to port over this track, I could favorite it. And then I look at my time. It's currently 6.31 p.m. And, oh, the minute just changed it over. But now it says this one was at 6.30. So I literally just got it, like, you know, right after the minute um, hit. So this is the folder that you'd use. You're basically copying and pasting the track, the TRK file, into an empty, um, like a dummy track that you create on Rising. And I'll show you guys that in just a second here. But uh, that's basically the layout of it. Favorite the track. Find it in the list. It's going to be the top one. Just, you know, keep track of you know, when you favorited, uh, keep track of the time when you favorite stuff. Um, if you're doing multiple or, or whatever, I've done that in the past where I've, I've tried to do, you know, multiple tracks at a time um, for porting in a day. Uh, back when I was like really into doing that stuff. But uh, another thing I want to say is when you port tracks, you know, just make sure that you're putting the creator's name in. You're not, you're not claiming it as your own, of course. Um, you know, also ask, make sure to ask the creator if it's okay if you can port their tracks. Um, for the most part, everybody said, yeah, go for it. You can copy and paste, you know, all my tracks on the Rising if you want. Um, but some people might say, no, I don't really want you to move it over to Rising because, you know, reason, 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 whatever reason that they have. Um, so yeah, just, you know, give credit where credit's due. And don't be copying people's tracks if they don't really want it to. That's kind of the basic, you know, common sense that, that you should have um, when you're doing this kind of stuff. Because uh, it is a lot of work that go into these tracks. And it would really suck if they're not credited and people are like, Oh my gosh, go to that track you made was so amazing. I'm like, I uh, actually didn't make that. And I think a lot of people can, you know, have that mistake happen. And uh, they get too much credit than they deserve. So... Yeah, that's kind of my two cents about it. All right. So now that you have favorited your track, you know, whatever it was on Track Central, um, this does not work with career tracks. I probably should have stated that a little bit earlier, but uh, you need to go on to Track Central and favorite stuff. I'm sure there's probably some way, if I was a more competent hacker of some sort, then, then it'd be easier. But uh, for right now, we are just going to be grabbing stuff off of Track Central and just moving it right over to the editor. So you don't have to do this in any particular order, but typically how I like to do it is I'll favorite a track or, or a couple and I'll like, you know, have that list of them there in my documents and I'll make a dummy track. And that track that we grabbed was decomposed by Confused Muscles. So I'm just going to put, you know, decompose. Um, and usually I like to put like port or something, you know, to make sure. And now that once we have that, we are going to open up another document. So we're going to have like two documents folders open here. I'm going to have rising open on the right and I have my fusion one already open on the left. And it was this one here at 6 30 PM. We got this big old. Thing here we click on it click on the folder find the trk file 
on the Ryzen side, go into Save Games, you click on that really big number, you go into User Created Tracks, and these are the ones that you have created inside of the editor. So this very top one is going to be the one that I just made at 6.38 p.m. So open that one up. So now we're, both, we're looking at both the TRK files. What you can do is you can just copy and paste it. I usually just drag it over and just move it and replace the file. Once that's replaced, close these up. Go back into the game. Load up the track, decompose port, and then boom, there it is. Easy, easy. Now this one worked out really well because it was above the ground. So a lot of instances you might have um, where I've had to go through an entire track and get it out of the ground. Um, this worked out perfectly. So this is a great example. I actually had no idea if this was going to work or not. But uh, this is the perfect example of it being above the ground. Sometimes it'll be literally like a mile, like below the default ground that is the uh, part of the world. So if that does happen, a trick I like to do, if you really, really do want the track to be ported, then you go into the settings here. You go into tools. Oh my gosh, I forgot where to even grab it. It's the area selector and then you can widen this as big as you want you can just grab like everything that you need it be and then you just drag it all up and just pull it straight up another piece to note uh if you are you know dragging all these pieces up it's been so long since i've been in the editor but um i'm kind of remembering as i go along there's a certain amount of objects that you can grab so sometimes you know if it's uh if it's packed full it's like really decorated track then you might not be able to grab everything when you widen the area selector. But with this one, there's not too much. It's mostly just like driving line decoration. Um, but there, it's only so big. So when you drag it straight up, you know, you'll probably want to like move that stuff really high up so it gets out of the way of the rest of the driving line so it doesn't get reselected. And you just repeat this process over and over again. Once you, uh, you've grabbed everything and anything that you want to be a part of the track. So, this is another great example. This one worked out really well. There, it's not too big of a driving line. Like, if you're trying to do a 50 checkpoint track, then it can be kind of an all-day endeavor. You know, making sure that you're getting every single piece. And then lining it up correctly is another thing. Um, if that track is in the ground, that's uh, another trick to really get down. Like, this is kind of tough because this is just a... Uh... Not really a floating platform, but it's a, it's a platform. Yeah, like, I'm not even sure where to set this up. So it could be really tough when you don't have a, a couple pieces together to, like, guide you where the... Where the driving line should be just use your best judgment and just try to line you know either the, the decoration up in the background or whatever else like it wouldn't make sense like you wouldn't have it this high because the trees aren't a part of the rock but somewhere in this range is where it should be um you can always readjust it once you actually get it all set up but yeah that's the the gist of you know trying to line stuff up when it's really far underneath in the ground all right so once you have successfully ported the track over um i just basically reset it back to its original position um run through the driving line you should still run through it um i would say don't try to make too many ex uh, changes to it uh like i've already seen one change that you kind of need the checkpoints they don't transfer over very well um like it's a way different um, size for them. So other than the fact that the checkpoints have different sizes on it, there are some things that won't transfer over. There's not a whole lot of things. Pretty much Ryzen has everything that, that Fusion has. Or that Fusion has. Uh, I think there's some audio 
types of stuff that that don't transfer over very well and something else that you should be testing for is does it make sense with uh the mantis to to be doing you know certain checkpoints there might be some instances where you have a move that doesn't really transfer over to fusion or excuse me that doesn't transfer from fusion over to rising as well like some of the the fender hooks like when you when you wedge your front wheel into a you know skinny object and can flip yourself around that doesn't necessarily work as much on rising different bike different physics different weight distribution all that kind of stuff play into account but for the most part like this track works pretty dang well. I don't really see a whole lot of changes that need to be made to it. Um, the only thing was like, you know, that overhang platform was, it's a little bit more difficult to do that stuff just because this bike, you know, weighs so much more. But if you get a track that doesn't really require any adjustments to it, that is very nice. That's easy peasy change that, um, uh, you definitely try to look for it. This checkpoint looks kind of weird. Like, this platform looks like it's... I guess that makes sense. I thought it was going to be tucked more up against the wall, but... Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, just make sure you're going through the track and making sure everything makes sense. That it doesn't take, you know, a, an absurd amount of attempts to, like, actually beat... A certain checkpoint um, and to just try to keep the track balanced as much as you possibly can I'm not really sure any other stuff that I should be going over with this um, I think it's pretty straightforward how to do it on here let me know if you guys want me to do anything on on fusion with like talking about hooks tool because I've gotten kind of stumped on doing that stuff on Fusion, where I want to practice more tracks in the editor, and just, uh, you know, how to be able to pull tracks in and practice more on Fusion. If you guys want to see that, please message me, either on, you know, Discord, you can message me, put in the comment section, do whatever. Uh, just get a hold of me, if you want to see stuff similar to this future stuff. But I'm just going to play the rest of this track through, and just kind of, because I actually have not played this at all in a really long time, but yeah, there it is for you. Really good Confused Muscles track. Muscles has a lot of pretty easy stuff like Extreme and Ninja Level 1 stuff for any of those ninja beginners that are on Fusion. He's made some stuff on Rising, but on Fusion, um, Confused Muscles. Fantastic legendary builder to start off your ninja journey. And I thought this would be a good one to showcase just because I think it's a pretty solid line. Nothing too crazy going on. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know if there's any other stuff that you guys want to have maybe some other tutorials on based around boarding and any other questions regarding that. All right. See ya.